Hi everybody, welcome to Unlocking Kingdom Destiny. My name is Gaspar Anastasi, and I want to talk about getting out from under a curse. Uh, many people don't recognize that on the earth, where we live today, there is already a curse because of the sin that Adam and Eve had committed many thousands of years ago. And that curse is still here. But thank God for Jesus who became the curse for us so that we can walk in the blessings that God has for us through Abraham and of course through what Jesus has done on the cross of Calvary. But that doesn't mean that automatically we walk in blessings. What it means, though, is that if we have accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we're qualified to walk in those blessings as we are obedient to God. Let me tell you some of the results of the curse. You can find it in Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16 and on. It talks about sickness and disease and all different types of sicknesses and diseases. It talks about poverty. It talks about broken relationships. It talks about families that are all messed up and children that are disobedient and rebellious. It talks about early deaths and so forth and so on. That's all part of the curse. When you think about blessings, you look at Deuteronomy chapter 20, verse 15. You talk about prosperity. You talk about health and wholeness. You talk about families that are whole. When we look around today, we see a lot of people that are suffering what the curse represents. Well, even as a Christian, people are under curses. We don't have to live there. It's like walking in the storm when it rains and it seems like heaven opens. As long as you have an umbrella, you're going to be set free from the rain and be dry. But the rain is still coming down. And if you don't have an umbrella, you're going to get wet. Well, for us, the umbrella is Jesus. Not just knowing him as our Lord and Savior. That's the beginning step. But actually putting his word into practice and living that word, which the Holy Spirit gives us the power to do. So there are many Christians today that don't have to live under the curse and the results of a curse, but are. All you have to do is look at a church and see today the many people that are living with poverty and sickness and disease and, and are dealing with so many broken families and broken marriages. And yet we talk about Jesus and all the blessings and somehow we find ourselves living under a curse. Some people have the idea that just because you're a Christian that you automatically are free from the curse. Well, legally you are. Experientially, we need to believe the Word of God. One of the key ingredients is to get out from under a curse is found in Malachi chapter 3, verse 8, where it says, Will a man rob God? He says, have we not robbed him with our tithes and offerings and we're under a curse? One of the ways to break a curse in your life, and this is one of the ways and not the only way, but for many Christians, it's probably one of the major ways, is to give God what rightfully belongs to him, which is his tithe, the 10%. 10% of your gross income belongs to God. That's from the beginning of the Bible to the end. Tithing is not something that's under the law. It's a godly principle that God sets as the first fruit. And if we give God the first fruit, the tithe, which belongs to him, then everything else that remains to us is blessed. And when we sow what's blessed, God multiplies. You want to see the curse of poverty broken? You want to see the devourer abuke for your sake? Why don't you trust God and give him what's rightfully his? You know, many times we're giving, but we're giving what doesn't belong to us. We're giving what belongs to God, the tithe. We give and we say, I'm giving. How come I'm not being blessed? Why is poverty still affecting my life? Why is there a lack? Well, you're giving what's not yours. Get this into your heart and mind. Everything that you are, everything that you have belongs to God. You own nothing. But God's given you the ability and the power and the right to be a good steward over it. So what are you going to do with what you have? Well, do what the Master says. He's Lord over your life. Give Him back what's rightfully His. Be blessed with the 90% that you do have and begin to sow seeds. And God said, I'll multiply those seeds back to you. Hey, one of the ways to break a curse is giving tithes and offerings. We're going to talk about that again in our next session. But please remember that the curse is here on this earth. We no longer have to live under it, but many of us still do. God wants to bless us. Let's be obedient to his word. Let's give our tithes and offerings and watch God open the windows of heaven and bless us abundantly and get us free from debt and poverty.